I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start with I'm just gonna try to move fast, but I'm gonna start with kind of closing the gap on the guy. Uh, how I do it as compared to like the Coleman Scott, you know, guys like that. And, and you're all gonna have different styles. This is me, this is what I teach. I like getting my hands on a guy. When I jab fake, you guys know what a jab faker is or a body fake or whatever. I'm gonna do mine from the top. I'm gonna do it here, I'm gonna be pushed into a guy, faking from a close distance, getting a reaction there so I can pull the guy underneath me, so I can get him coming up and fire shots off. Whereas Coleman Scott, someone like that, I'm using him for an example because he coaches right here. He's gonna jab from the outside and get his hands on him from the open and start pulling. So he's gonna jab, get a reaction. Does that make sense to everybody? There's a big difference, and guys your age gotta figure out what works for you. Um, I've always been a grinder, so it's I, I try to get my hands on a big, strong wrestler. I always have been, so I try to get my hands on a guy as fast as possible. Now, teaching young kids to close the gap, I'm always going to teach it the same way. I'm going to say, go to them with your forehead. Always your back, so I'm a right leg lead. My left hand is always going to reach first. You know, when you get to the higher level and you, you have a lot of faith and your defense is world class, I don't care what hand. And even at the collegiate level, I don't care what hand you reach with, because you know you have, you have faith in your defense, you know what you're doing. But for high school kids, young kids, middle school kids, elementary, it's always going to be close to the gap. Touch the guy with the back hand. So my left foot's back, this is going to be my back hand. Do the forehead first, club it, and then work it into your ties. Very, very systematic. I, literally every single match I've ever wrestled that has never changed. All right, walk into the guy reaching with your hands up and you fire shots off. So I rely on my defense first and foremost in closing the gap. So my hands are down, protect my legs. You guys see my stance? Everything with your stance got to be. If you flex too much, like Devin Kane, who knows Devin Kane from this area? We we're just talking about him earlier. He's a flex ball. So always about three and a half minutes into a match, he's, he's, he needs an inhaler. And I'm always getting all pissed off at him. But he gets himself so tired because he's flexed, because you know, he's kind of jacked. Not as jacked as me, but he's jacked. You know, he's real strong. Everything he does, he grabs the guy and just tries to lift it. Just wastes too much energy. Relax in the stands. Go to him with your forehead. Always using your hands. Now, when in doubt, this guy's moving around on you, just stay relaxed and keep your hands down. I like to grab hold of this one, make sure the guy can't shoot on me, and then climb up his body like a rope while still pushing forward. And I'll get into that. And, and as far as pushing forward and stuff like that, everybody's going to have a different feel. Well, let's start here with your partner. I just want you to get out. The biggest thing for me, defensively and in a stance, you got to stay patient. It's about staying patient, having faith and moving your feet and, and, uh, and your defense and stuff like that. Stay patient, go to him with your forehead. Once you get close, when you close the gap, your hands got to be hard. Go touch this guy. Pop him, pull Stay heavy. I'm not flexing, but I'm bringing my elbows with my hips. I'm always starting with the back hand club. So my elbows are moving to my hips as I'm moving forward. My hands stay heavy. Start moving and stuff. So that wasn't a lot of technique I threw at you. I just wanted to do a work on that, focus on that while you're in your stance. Stay nice and relaxed. Go to the guy. So if this guy ever starts moving, so just if he ever starts moving and faking on me, your reaction always has to be this. So nice and relaxed, hands always drop. Walking forward, hands drop. Moving to the guy with your forehead. Does that make sense? Alright, just work on getting your hands on your opponent right now. On three, one, two, three.